Welcome back guys. So in this video, we are going to learn the basic commands that we will be using in this course. So to start off with this video will help you connect to your AWS instance from a Mac or a Linux machine with Windows. It's different because Windows is not able to understand this PEM file. So we use putty to convert it into a putty private key and we use that putty private key to log into our instance from windows with linux everything is easier so to start off with let me try and see if i can make this bigger so in preferences i will have fonts This is fine and you can see the font size increase. So to start with, this is your username. This is the host name. So if I do a host name, it will give me the name of my machine. And if I want to know who the user is, I'm going to do who am I? It will tell me the name of the user. Now let's start with the basic commands. LS stands for list. This command will list all the files and directories that you have over here. Now this LS is giving me files and directories, but where am I right now? You can find that using PWD. PWD will give you the path of working directory. So I am in slash home and slash visual. This file is in my desktop. So if I want to go to the desktop on my terminal, I will do a CD to change the directory. So I will do CD and I will type D. So here I can see three locations that start with the letter D. But there's only one location that has the next letter as E. So if I type E and press a tab it is going to autofill the whole word and in the other case if I press O and press tab it is not going to autofill because it can be documents or it can be downloads. So if I don't know what the next letters are I can do a double tab and it is going to give me the possible things that I can do with TO. So I can do documents or I can do downloads, but I want to go to desktop. So I would do DE and press a tab. And now if I do PWD, I am inside the desktop. So here, if I do an LS, you will see these three files. So if I do an LS minus L, it will give me more details. This minus L, is called a switch and if you want to find out all these switches for a command you can run man man will give you a manual so if i do a man on ls it will give me a manual for the command now how do i exit from here so you will see manual page and you will see press h for help or q to quit so I can press Q and I can quit from here. Now we have LS and we have CD. If I want to go back to slash home slash Vishu, I would do a CD double dot and I would be in my home directory. If I want to go back to desktop, I can do it like this and I am back in desktop. If I want to clear the screen, I will write clear. It will clear the screen. Now, if I do an LL, you will see this. Now, there's a lot of things over here. The first thing you need to understand is this is the user. This is the group. So permissions, this format will show you the permissions of files and folders. If it's a file, you won't see a D over here. If it's a directory, you will see a D over there. So if I do an LL, you will see D which stands for directory. So this tells you it's a directory. This tells you it's a file. So 
that is the first thing and then I have a whole video where I am breaking down this whole permissions but right now what I want you to understand is this is a file because there's no D over here the first section has three characters R W and hyphen the second section has three characters R W and hyphen the third one has three characters R hyphen hyphen the first is for the user which is over here the second is for the group which is over here the third is for others people who are not the user or not in the group. So this one says the user can read and write but cannot execute. The group can read and write but cannot execute and others who are not the user or the group can only read the file. So if my LAMP file, if my private key is open to everyone in my group and everyone who is using this PC anyone can log in to this PC that's why we change the permissions for this so if I go back to my instance over here and if I do a connect you will see it will say your key must not be publicly viewable for SSH to work so I'm going to copy this command which is chmod 400 lamp2.pem so I will do chmod 400 lamp 2pem and if it runs successfully you will see it like this and if I do an LL you will see the permissions have changed at this moment only the user can read it and others can do nothing the groups can do nothing it's only the user who can access this file so once this is done I can show you how to copy files so copy its source and destination so i can do copy lamp2.pem this file to slash temp so this will copy the file if i do an ls on slash temp you will see my file over here now let me clear this out and let's do a vim so i can do a touch touch means create a file and i can do test2 Oh, actually we can just edit test so I can do a vim on test it's a text editor so I can once I do this it would give me the file now here you will see test one line six characters if I press I you will see this change to insert this tells me I am in the insert mode so if I type anything it's going to write it if I want to remove it I would do a backspace now if I want to come out of the insert mode if I am done typing I would press escape and you will see this change now I am not in the insert mode so I can press any keys and it is not going to like write it because I am not in the insert mode if I want to go to insert mode I will press I I will get into the insert mode I will press escape to come out of the insert mode colon and W to save and colon and Q to quit you will see it over here and if I go back again and if I go back to insert mode change this to issue and then escape and instead of saving and quitting I can do it together using W and Q so this is the basics of Vim. Um, there are various things you can do over here like uh, I can type some lines and then when I'm not in the insert mode and I want to get rid of the whole line I can press D and D so it will delete the whole line. And now let me go back and let's connect to our instance. So to connect to the instance, you should be where your uh, key is. So my key is in desktop. I am in desktop. So I will type SSH. SSH is a command that you use to remotely connect to a server from your terminal. So if I do a man SSH, you will see open remote login client. 
OpenSSH is a remote login client and there are various options over here and we will use the minus I option that this instance that Amazon tells us to use it says SSH minus I and this is the public DNS so let me bring it over here minus I is the identity file so I will close it and I need the IP so I will pin my desktop and if I do a colon or I can just press Q it will quit so SSH minus I and then I have to give the identity file what is my identity file it's this one so lamp and then I will press tab it will autofill for me and then I have to put the username EC2 will always have the user EC2 user at the rate I have to put the host name or the public IP so I will do 34.220.165.161 and now it will try to connect and once I am in, you will see this, that I am in my Amazon Linux instance. And that is it for this video. You will see all the details about permissions over here. Oh, this is my instance. So I am in my instance. The way I can find out is hostname and it will give me the AWS instance. If I want to get out, exit. And if I do an hostname, I am back in my terminal. So that is it for this video and I will explain this in a different video so don't worry about it. But that's it. I will see you guys in the next video.